Okay, so I'd like to show you our PicoSpin miniature spectrometer. So this is it. It's a 45 megahertz liquid phase proton NMR spectrometer. On the front panel, there's an inlet. You inject a sample. Normal way to put a sample into it is just to use a syringe. 20 microliters is what it takes to fill it. There's a 300 micron inside diameter capillary that goes from the inlet to the outlet. And you make a spectrum. And then as soon as you want to put in another sample, you just squirt it in the inlet and that'll displace the old sample and you have a new sample. The box doesn't have any controls on the front panel, but on the back side, there's an ethernet connection. So it goes right on to the local network in your lab. And then you control the spectrometer using a web browser on any computer that's on your network. So there's no specialized control software for this instrument that you have to install. Instead, you just use a web browser, you point it to the IP address of the instrument, and you can run it. So what we have right here is a web browser running a user interface for the machine. And right now, this spectrometer is filled up with ethyl acetate. So I'll run it, and it'll do a single shot. And you'll see in the top screen the free induction decay of pulsed NMR. It looks like noise, but it's not. It's really the beating signal of a whole bunch of uh, lines in the spectrum that are nearby. And they make a beating signal that's more complicated looking. And then down in the bottom, you see the spectrum. This display is just a preview of the data. So the machine runs for a little while, and uh, you get a preview through your web browser. And then as soon as you've collected the data, you can download it from the machine, and you can open it up in an NMR data analysis package. And if you open it up, it'll look something like this. This is MNOVA from Mestra Labs Research. It's a standard NMR data analysis package. This machine is in every way like an ordinary NMR spectrometer that might cost 10 or 20 or 50 times more. It produces the same kind of data, and you can open up our data using the same data analysis packages that you'd use for a big Supercon NMR machine. So here we've got a spectrum of ethyl acetate. It's a fully resolved spectrum. It shows the chemical shift between the CH2, CH3, and the other CH3. And it shows the multiplet structure. There's a triplet there and a singlet. And those are two uh, groups, a CH3 and a CH2, that are adjacent. And they have a spin interaction, a J-coupling between them. And so you get the multiplet structure.